friends over. We got lots of friends. Sweet. So our sound is on. We just need everybody to confirm the sound is on. Derby's helping you. I know. He is loving it. Hi, Derby. Hello. Hi, Derby. Oh, you are such a handsome man. Are you next to get your nails done? Hmm? Okay. Yeah. Okay. What are you guys doing, huh? What are you doing? Okay. Um, uh, All right. It's a wrap. Sound is on in the nursery. Thank you very much, Crafty. So, Hi right, everyone, thanks for joining me and Tracy for It's a Wrap. Um, we only had a few things happening this week, um, but we have some upcoming things also that we can talk about. So Monday we had a big food delivery um, where the big truck came in and we had pallets of food come in. Uh, Wednesday, Tuesday was actually frontline, but because of the heavy, heavy rain that we had, we postponed it until Wednesday. Um, that way we were sure it wouldn't rush, uh, run off of any of the dogs. Um, we also had Meet the Dog where Chris and Aniela did a spotlight on Sage. So everybody seemed to like that. Thursday, our puppy love. We're seeing how the pups are bigger now and they're no longer just making little cute little noises. They've become little raptors. <laughs> um, we've actually decided to do a little bit of puppy training um, with some of the trainers coming in. So Diane was one of them. You'll be seeing um, on Thursdays quite a bit of Diane, which is great. Um, she is only part-time, so to get her to actually um, catch her during one of these segments is a rare thing. So having Diane doing Thursdays is awesome. Uh, so she's going to do a little bit of puppy training and what she's going to do, or uh, other people, not just Diane, is come in um, with a couple of dogs, maybe one dog at a time, and kind of do a demonstration on what, what the training is going to be, how we're going to train the dog, um, and of course these dogs, it's the first time they've ever seen some of this stuff, and then what the outcome is supposed to look like, <laughs> and I'm going to stress that word supposed to look like, because <laughs> it takes a while for um, these guys to have, um, you know, the calmness and to, to absorb it all, because they're learning so much every day, and we have to just do training in very small segments um, at because the attention span at this age is very, very short. Um, Fridays, now um, we had chatting with Cindy, but due to unfavorable comments that on social media, uh, Cindy has chosen to no longer participate in chatting on camera. Um, she is still an active employee of Service Dog Project, so hopefully things will change up a little bit and she will feel more um, relaxed about being in front of the camera again, but right now we're going to honor her choice and um, we are actually going to have Mystery Day um, is going to be our Friday. So it could be a surprise guest come in, it could be a volunteer coming in, it could just be some videos, some um, things that we've done off of the farm and post on Explore at um, what is it? At four o'clock on Fridays. Um, so it is a mystery day, and right now, next um, Fridays is a mystery because I don't know what's going to be happening. But um, <laughs> so we. So if anyone um, wants to jump on a plane and be the mystery person, <laughs> that would be fun. That would be fun. So if anybody out there would like to come, that would be awesome. Um, we have little Bunny visiting right now, and Bunny's mom 
is over <laughs> um, helping clip some puppy nails right now. Um, I bring her in, but we've got the little pups right here. Um, I was working with Tasha today on flat field. We were working with her recall and getting dressed, being um, putting her head through the um, leash or the collar. She, for some reason, has suddenly decided that she doesn't want to, and she is just going to make a game of chase me, chase me, which we don't chase. Um, so she she eventually came to me, and she did a lot of wor um, work out there with me. And I found that I, as long as she had something on her neck, even if it was the leash and it was tied like a collar around her neck, she had that little bit of feeling on her neck. She was perfect. She was a great, great, great um, dog doing everything I asked. Even to me it was off leash because I wasn't holding on to it. Um, but as soon as you unraveled that leash and you took it off of her neck so she knew she had nothing on her, she was wild child once again running around and playing the catch me if I can. So she is work in progress right now. Um, I was also in the arena today evaluating Davis. Um, the trainers are he has good skills. He was very good, actually, um, working with me. However, his focus, his attention span is that of a newt. Um, he just <laughs> didn't focus at all. So we are going to be working with him. And one of the things that I want to train him on is possibly some deep pressure. My fallback on that is Davis is the most drooliest Dane I have ever met, where when I was sitting and he would put his head on my lap, my lap was just saturated and it just kept on absorbing down. Um, so that is something, again, we're looking into, see if we can get him to do some deep pressure exercises and then maybe he can actually, instead of going out as a true mobility dog, he could still go out as a service dog where he can help with um, those with um, PTSD. So that is, a pretty, that is our, our goal for Davis and hopefully um, once I, we start working on him with that on a daily basis in a smaller confined area. I found the arena was too big for him to just focus on me. There was a lot of things going around, especially the birds. Um, you know, we, we get him into a smaller area and just start doing some real relaxing things with him to get him to learn that deep uh, pressure. We might be able to um, turn him around as a service dog. And then the other dog that I worked on today was Waverly. Um, she is going to go out as a perfect pet um, due to her anxiety. However, we still need to keep her skills up, and she was having a lot of fun out there, a lot of fun um, playing ball, and um, she was hopping up on the bed when, when I asked her to. She still doesn't go into her downs as well as I would have liked, but she's still great on a leash. Um, her backing up skills are, uh, they're okay, but as a perfect pet, do you need your perfect pet to back up? No, you need it to walk on a leash very nicely. So she is still, um, we're still fine tuning on her skills as far as that's concerned and looking for a home for her. So um, that is all that has happened so far this week. And we do have some upcoming fundraisers that I wanted to get everybody excited about. So September 17th, mark your calendars. It is Service Dog Project's first annual virtual 5K walk. Um, tickets will be sold on our Better World site. That's servicedogproject.betterworld.org. Um, it will be released, um, I'm hoping by the end of today. Um, this is not something that I am spearheading. It is actually somebody else is spearheading um, this fundraiser, and it is very exciting. Um, there are t-shirts that are being designed for this that will be sold on Bonfire, and everything will be, will have all those links set up for you on Explore and on social media. Um, and talking about Better World, we do have some new auction items being released soon um, from quilts to local um, events coming that you can purchase tickets for. Um, oh, there's so many things that uh, some of the online sh people 
have donated gift cards, but you can go online to their shop to see what's, um, what they have to offer. And then we have our monthly Gone to the Dogs Day viewing on Sunday, September 3rd. Um, that right now is at a 16% sales. It will be blasted out on social media, and we're just asking for everybody who sees it on their social media to go ahead and share it, and let's get the word out there. Um, and then the last but not least, believe it or not, we are going to be selling holiday wreaths and thinking, this is just August, what are you insane, Lynn? Um, we missed the cutoff last year, so we actually have to start selling them now. They will be delivered in November for the holiday. Um, so that is also something that is coming up, which is very exciting. It's not just wreaths, it's all kinds of different swags and different things like that. There's pre-lit, there are um, yeah, uh, just a, a number of things. So we're working on that also. So those are some of the upcoming fundraisers to, um, for people to be watching for. And that's all I have. And here's Tracy, who's supposed to be reading questions, but she's um, slacking. Yeah, I'm talking to Mrs. Poppins about her nails being done. Okay, I didn't see. hear any screaming, so that is awesome. Good job. Okay, Good job. thank you, Crafty. It's a wrap sound is on. Bio. We hear you. Crafty Thursday puppy love is now puppy training. Yes. By OBC. Love the puppy training. Her explanations were very helpful. You can really notice the difference with them too in their recall already. Yeah. Just from that. Um, by OBC, please give Cindy our love. I will. Uh, Indy Dunes, hi Lynn and Tracy, thank you for sharing the gathering staff and volunteers were treated to, well deserved. Yes, we had a good time, um, a lot of people missed it, they had other plans, so we are in the future going to plan another one, yeah. so everybody will be invited to that, and if we missed anybody, we're sorry, and we'll make sure we don't miss you again. <laughs> it was kind of a last minute thing too. Okay, Crafty. Friday's program will be determined on a weekly basis. Um, and she also asked, will Friday's program still be at 4 p.m. Eastern Time? Yes, it will. Yes. Yeah. We're not changing the time, we're just changing the name. Okay. Indy Jones, <coughs> please tell Cindy we miss her, but understand. We definitely will. Hey, what are you Crafty. doing? Who won the art auction that ended last week? Oh, so. That would be, um, her first name is Lisa, last name begins with a B, um, it had, hey, excuse me, give me that. Hold on, I have to fight with this one. Thank you. Do not take stuff out of Bear Bear. I already found him in the dryer. Yeah. Um, Lisa B, um, won, won the bid for the chaos portrait and who did I say was um, mm -hmm. Elsie um, uh, I, I have the photo right on my <laughs> desk um, I, can, I can actually I saw the picture on your desk yeah all right keep reading and I will find out who won that are you still working on the August newsletter yes I am I just I sat it and I get sidetracked I'm running yes. running around too many places <laughs> You never know here what's going to happen. Let's see. Uh, Anje. Hi, Anje. It's a wrap with Lynn and Tracy and three poppin' pups. Yes, we have three, and there's a couple more in here, and then there's five over there in the barn, and we're going to, I think we're going to bring them all over and feed them all together when we're done. Crafty. I assume you are now... You now require all dogs to have blood work with their annual vet visits. Elijah reported that Quinn had a good report. Yes, Quinn had perfect, perfect, perfect um, blood work done. Yes, um, so that's something that since I've started here that I've required. All of our dogs, when they go for their spays and neuters, um, they get a full blood panel done. 
and then all the dogs that go out as a perfect pet, we also have them um, vetted and we get a, um, a baseline for them also. That way, if they abide by our contract and they get um, the, the dog goes in for its annual exam, we get a copy of the blood work and we can compare apples to apples. We can be proactive if we see anything slipping by, um, anything that looks strange, um, instead of being reactive when the dog is actually sick. And that's another reason why we ask for any any vet records whatsoever, they bring the dogs to the vet. That way, when I get a phone call saying, hey, my dog has um, been diagnosed with X, has anybody else in that litter had the same issue? I can actually refer back to my master list and see for that litter, has anybody else had this issue? Um, and I can't do that without people giving us the vet records. What can you do is have you tried getting support by having a local affiliate of NPR, National Public Radio, do a short piece on Service Dog Project's public programs and fundraising to support placing more dogs? That's interesting that you said that because my husband asked me the same exact thing. Have you thought about um, radio? Have you thought about doing a commercial? Um, we had gone to the movies probably a few weeks ago and they there's a when you're watching a movie they actually come out with people um, they advertise right there at the movies which I thought was a pretty cool thing um, oh, yeah. so no I haven't looked into it it's just something um, something else that Tracy will be looking into in the future <laughs> <laughs> so I do have the winner. So it was Barbara Vernum um, won the Elsie portrait, and it was Lisa. Lisa, I'm so sorry if I say this name wrong, but it's um, Uriscano. Uriscano um, won the chaos. We did not have any bids for the Bailey portrait, um, and Kate Murdoch was the bidder on the Rainbow Bridge um, Memorial portrait. Okay. Crafty, any placements in the next month? Yes, we actually have two coming up. We found it, we wanted them placed um, this month in August. However, with people being on vacations, not only recipients to be, being on vacation, but also um, the staff and trainers here because we still have to take them out and go training with the dog if we don't have enough trainers here or enough staff um, to do so, it kind of um, downplayed a little bit. So we do have some coming up. What are you doing to Bailey? Crafty, who won the Bailey Art? No one. No ba one. Ba there was no bids on it, so we're going to hold off and probably repost um, Bailey once again. Okay. Um, I'm Jay. The pups love Bear so much. Yes, they do. Of course, Miss Poppins here is um, being a little rough with Mr. Bear. Huh? Huh? You don't want Bear to cry, do you? Well, as I tell Bella at home, don't ruin your friends. Don't ruin your friend. Oh okay. well, no. Yeah. <laughs> it does have a hole in the front of it, so we might want to pull this out tonight. We'll pull that out tonight before we leave. So we don't have a ball of snow in here tomorrow. <laughs> so I'm not driving up in the middle of the night to pull them out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. I think you just like the sound of the ripping. Ooh, that's a good one. Oh, oh Miss Pearly. How about My that? Miss Pearly. Everybody, yeah. all the dogs are so tired today. Um, yes, we did. We saw that someone had posted that um, Dawes is limping. Yeah. And we think that he got stung by a bee or a um, horse fly or something because they're out. So we're going to keep an eye on it. And I was just looking at him over there. And he's pretty mellow. Yeah. So I'm sure it hurts a little bit. But maybe we'll put some ice on it. Maybe I'll bring him over and doctor him up here. <laughs> and put some ice on it for my friend, huh? 
Miss Pearlie is very tired. You guys played a lot on the hill, huh? Any more questions? Yeah, we worked on getting some dew claws cut out on the field today. Because those little raptor claws, they were sharp. They were long. And now we have um, Jess over there clipping nails. All nails. Yeah, she's doing good. Nobody's crying or whining nope. or anything. That is Josh's sister. Ow! Josh and Ow. Lucy. Hey, hey, hey. Be nice. You don't want me to cry. Can I miss Pearlie? You would never know this sweet angel face. <laughs> this sweet angel face can be a hellion, can't you? She slept in the big over there last night, though. Yes, um, so that was one thing that Donna said when she came in this morning. She actually came in and there was no pee. There was some pee on some pads mm -hmm. next to the doors of the other two kennels, but there was no poop whatsoever. She left the building, looked at it to make sure <laughs> she was in the correct building, and then she came in here and she found some pee and poop and knew she was in the right place. Yeah, they, they're getting better. They're getting bigger and yeah. better. and So... Crafty, thank you for another great wrap. You are welcome. Thank, um, thank you for watching. How is the rain affecting training? Oh, I'm so <laughs> done with rain. It's actually probably been pretty good. Like the puppies, I noticed. Yeah. They were out in the rain the whole day the other day. They love it. Yeah. Like, nothing bothers them. Right? Nope. They nope. like the pool, the thunder. It was thunder and loud and it didn't seem to bug them. Well, they're pretty used to it too, though, because <laughs> we've had all that sound <laughs> going noise throughout their whole upbringing. Yeah, that was great. What are you doing? doing? Good idea, Diane. Put it on YouTube. and Tina from Southern California. Hi, Tina. I hope you're doing okay with the, um, oh, the hurricane, hurricane. Yeah. in your area. I've read some of the posts on the other side about staff and volunteers, but people making those personal attacks are terrible. Yeah, we know. We're trying to ignore a lot of it. And I just don't understand why they're so obsessed with it, but I guess they're being fed a lot of, I could say, baloney, too. Malaki. <laughs> Malaki, yeah. You don't want to believe everything you say, and I, I just don't understand some of it. But we're glad that we have you and all the other people here that know that we're doing the right thing and supporting us. It's so nice to watch explore Isn't and it? just see all these, you know, just conversations. There's no bickering and no BS. No, it's, thank it's, the explore people. Yeah, they yes, do a great job. Yeah, the mods have really worked their butts off. Yeah, it's great. Like yesterday, we were sitting in the office and I put on the um, screen to check the puppies and the over there and uh, the hill and everything. And we saw that they had the camera focused on the door. So we were trying to see who we could get to go poke their head through the door. Karen wanted to do it, but we didn't think she'd be able to get through or down on her knees through the outside there. This is her knee. And Sarah said there was no way she was fitting in there. So <laughs> I wasn't doing it. So poor Emmeline, we got her to do it. And it was so cute that she stuck her head out. You guys snapped a really good picture. So we had a good laugh yesterday. So that's, that's what it's all about, having fun and taking care of the dogs. Let's see. Crafty, do you do the non-rabies vaccinations in-house? Yes. Yes, so all of those are done here in-house. It's just the rabies that um, you have to be a licensed veterinarian to do. Okay. And Crafty, will the pups have a routine vet visit prior to their spay and neuter? Um, yeah, they actually, they most of the time they'll either have them go in um, earlier that day um, hi. <laughs> <laughs> or sometimes they just have to reschedule it they just spay a new like a week after it all depends right now the um, vets offices are still so busy with the um, just their general practice with all the people that received animals during COVID um, now they're opening up these vet offices like the urgent oh, well, care. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. I did hear about that. Because Donna gave us a number if we ever had an issue and needed to go somewhere. Yeah. 
Yeah. Now we have one particular vet that we really, really, really like. Um, yeah. That we, she pretty much, um, she or one other person will be the, the ones that actually spay and neuter these guys. They're awesome. I'm Jay. Is one of the poppins still limping a bit or is it healed? Um, he was still limping a bit. It's um, Dawes. And we do think that he got stung by a bee or a horse fly because there's a lot of them out there. And um, yeah. the horses are having a hard time with it too. Elizabeth was telling me there's a lot of the big flies over there. We're seeing the little ones over our side, but they got big ones over there. But they bite. Uh, they just they yeah. get your ankles. In fact, I was talking to Carly not that long ago, and you know she's one that wears the socks <laughs> on, and you know she's got the shorts and the socks all the way up to the shorts, and she does that because of the the <laughs> flies are just so they bite <laughs> so bad around the ankles. <laughs> so it was a real smart. <laughs> <of her. laughs> Please send the rain to Texas. I would love to. Oh, you can have it all. Um, yes, you guys are hot out there, that's for sure. Indie Dunes. Hi, and thank you to Joshua Mom for donating her time for potty cures. Yes, Joshua Mom and sister, she's doing a great job. Let's see. That's little bunny that you hear in the background. Well, she's not little that bunny. little anymore. <laughs> I probably saw her on the driveway, Kim. She is tall, beautiful. Okay, crafty. The temp may reach 110 today, which is probably worse than the rain. Oh, yes, definitely. I'll take the rain any day in Dallas. I will take the rain any day over that heat. Okay, Amber. I really enjoy It's a Wrap. Thank you for all you do to keep the mission in the forefront. Group hugs. Thank you, Amber. We really appreciate your, your kind words. And yes. Keeps us going. That's what keeps us going. Yeah. And by OBC, amen. And let's see, crafty. Have you done any heart screenings on the pups at SDP? Um, we do the heart screening on the breed dogs. They get the echocardiograms um, done on those. And of course, if they don't pass, then they are not bred to. Okay. Not in the face. Hey. Okay. Hi, what are you doing? Bio BC. Thank you all so much, and thanks to the mods who keep upholding Explore's guidelines. They <laughs> always have. Yes, they have, and we thank them a lot too because I go on every night and I read all the fun comments and everything, and it's so nice to. That's so why I keep telling Cindy, read the Explore comments. They're nice ones. Don't go anywhere else. <laughs> uh, Amber, amen. Crafty. My cousin is a vet and she is overwhelmed, I can imagine. Yeah. 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 I have a niece who's a, a new vet and she's they're just working her to the bone. Sure. <laughs> she's learning a lot, but oof. Hey, I just ouch. called the Bella's um, yearly checkup and uh, they're out till the end of September. So I said that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're in no hurry, she's doing good. <laughs> Oh, I feel Mr. Derby in the back of my head here. He's a very good bo bo boy. He's a very good boy, aren't you? Would you say hi to the camera? Tell him you've been so good today. You've been out on the hill playing. He's, he's really coming out of his shell. Yes. He was a little standoffish um, for a little while there. They go through their phases, you know, their puppy phases, just like kids do. But he's, uh, he's, a, he's so nice. Please get a picture of Bunny for us, and thank you to his sister, too. Ooh. They're thanking you for doing the puppy's paw, paw cures. <laughs> she said you're welcome, the camera people. You can come say hi if you'd like. No. <laughs> she says no. <laughs> oh, we'll no, to, you don't need anything in my pocket. have to bring Bunny in after, because I'm going to run the puppies over. I think. Um, we can bring her in after because I'm going to run them over. I just have to check with um, Chris and Haley to see if they're getting ready to feed. Feed? You guys get to eat again? Didn't you just eat two meals today already? Huh? Yes, and they are hungry puppies. Very hungry puppies. So after we get these puppies over, um, 
they can bring Bunny out. So I will run over and see if Haley will help me call them over. And then you can see, <laughs> thank you, Bio, for the, the love I got from Poppins. <laughs> Yes, I get they're all very loved. We got Jet who likes to talk a lot lately. Oh gosh, yes. She was over, there was a young girl with her dad here visiting and she, the girl goes to reach for her and she's patting her all of a sudden she's going, rah, rah, rah. the girl was like, <laughs> 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 and she's wagging her tail and everything. So she just likes to talk. Yeah. So, oh, Bunny's going to climb right out of that cage. Okay, if that is, <laughs> <laughs> I assume that is Haley. Hey, Tanti Haley, yes! <laughs> Are you, did you guys, are you ready to feed them first? I was say, can we feed them last? Yes. Okay. Um, can I bring them over? Um, or are you feeding over there right now? Well, we can always have them just go up oh, here, oh, here and here. shut the, um, we just want to bring Bunny in here to show the people. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, I'll put them out here. Well, can they go in? Yep. There? Oh, yeah. There. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Thank okay, you. Okay, Haley is going to put them in my panels. Look, 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 your friends. Look at your friends. He is going to be a fur. <laughs> yep. All right. Yeah. Just run him right down. as much as we possibly can. I think that you're going to notice a difference um, on the puppy hill, them, not all ten of them being together. Um, but they can definitely, at night when they're sleeping, they, they can be in pairs. Um, just the longer they're together, the easier that it is, especially in training them. Don't you scare her. Why not? Hi, baby. She's going to explode next. Hi. Crafty, do you have open house on Sundays? Yes, we do. Okay. We just had a couple people come down and visit. and uh, We had some community service kids come in this morning with their parents, and their um, yeah, the parents are so excited to come. To come and it was funny because the, the kids were kind of like, no, you don't need to. No, you don't need to stay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Hi. That door. Amber, wishing all of STP a beautiful week filled with kindness and appreciation. Thank you, Amber. You are all wonderful. Thank you, Amber. Indy Dunes, thank you for this edition of It's a Wrap. Have a good week. Thank you. I hope you guys can see Miss Bunny. Mm -hmm. Bun -bun. She is a beauty. She's on stilts. <laughs> and you know how, how long her neck is. I thought at first it might have been kind of an illusion because of all the light yeah. on the back, but no, she's got the American Great Dane neck going. Ah, she a good girl. She's beautiful. She's I hope you charge girl. Honey Tracy for this picture you're taking. Bye. 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 20 kisses. 
Good girl. Good girl. Yeah, she's a good girl. Oh. I think it was the Bonnie who got away from me in tractor supply once. <laughs> I ran right out the door. Oh. Although Ooh. I was terrified. I bet. <laughs> oh my goodness. Number one. Oh. Yeah, I opened the back hatch of the RAV and she was like, okay. I'm out. Like, <sighs> Yes, we have good pictures. Oh my That's goodness. a good girl. My daughter's inviting company over tonight. <laughs> Do you tell her only if you get your own house? Yeah. <laughs> well, her a friend and her mother, so she wants me to entertain too. Oh. Yeah, I don't know about that. She's a pretty girl. Yes, yeah, she is. We do have Rosie going to be boarding in October. She likes me. <laughs> I don't know what I did to offend Bonnie. Hi, Bunny girlfriend. Hello. Funny for a visit. Yeah, funny for a visit. What do you think? Oh, she's throwing things at you now, huh? Oh my goodness. She's throwing things. What do you think here? Let's see if I can post my picture. She seems to like the puppies, though. She was waving her tail. Uh, honestly, not could nap here. <laughs> I, I expected you to, to see you on camera napping <laughs> in the uh, 9 and 10 over there. Oh, yeah, totally. That's how I could have spent my break. Yeah, there you go. You don't yep. need to eat. You can just Once nap. I did take a nap during my break, because we have that bed in the laundry building. Yep. It was great. <laughs> you looking for your mama? Funny. Uh, you looking for mom's? Interesting comparison between Bunny as an American Dane and the SDP European Danes crafting. Yes. Yeah. I mean, the, the head shape. Yeah. You can definitely see why we use European. Yeah. Because yes, she so just looks huh? way too frail to be a okay. service dog and she's hold up a person. She's got the long it's show amazing. legs, show yeah. back. She's just gorgeous. She is. Yeah, she's got beautiful markings. I love that color. You have beautiful markings. Just as I know. Hi, buddy. Hi, Oh. honey. And she's going to be joining us for um, the Legion Riders. Ooh. Ride coming up. We can show all of them her special trick. Ooh. Watch Haley make her poop. <laughs> <laughs> Exclusive. <laughs> oh, yeah. She's like, I know, I can get out of this room somehow. Right. Give me a baby. Give me a baby. Give me a baby. At least she likes you. She's a good girl. <laughs> Someone else in the room. She's a good girl. <laughs> hmm? Someone else besides you, she doesn't have a choice. <laughs> I know. Oh, look at her. You are a good girl. Honey. Haley's gonna murder me. <laughs> Okay, we'll find Mama. Yeah. Sorry, sweetie, but they're all clipping nails. Yeah. You know, I don't, I don't know the last time I murdered you. Did, did that ever happen? <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. Well, you were the nail clipper. I was. I yeah. You were the nail clipper. Me. Yeah. yeah that's why they all don't like you. They know the nail thing. Yeah, the last um, American Legion ride, I did her nails. <laughs> she remembers. It wasn't that long ago, a year. Not even a year yet. Good girl. Mm. Mm. Can I take a picture? Yeah, come here. You're a good girl. She reminds me of a um, greyhound. Greyhound, yeah. yeah. Well, we did think that they weren't pure Great Danes, yeah, and we had the DNA that. done, and they're a hundred percent. Yeah, I still didn't believe it at the time, but then she grew. Yes. She was a little bitty thing before. Are they the ones that they were together in the older couple? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Now I remember. Yeah. They were like, what were we thinking? What are you two crazy? What was that? Huh? Been I don't know. Okay, well, we're going to shut down the sound. Thank you, everybody, for watching. It's a wrap. Bye. And bye. say bye, bun. Say bye, 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 bye. 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 No, you're going to hide behind me. Okay. <laughs> Have a good afternoon, everyone. Thank you, everyone. Oh, my goodness, Bun.